there, I'm Angelix and C. Welcome to my video. Today we're going to be storing photo cards in my binder. So let's get started. I'm going to be storing photo cards for a lot of different groups today, so I hope you enjoy. Um, I'm sorry if I sound a little tired. I just had a really long week where I, um, I uh, hosted a, a week of games for children, like outside games for children. And I always love to do it, but it's very tiring. So <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound a little tired. Um, it's because children were screaming at me for a week straight. So <laughs> first off, Stray Kids. For Stray Kids today, I have um, the first few photo cards for Five Star that I have, which is great. And I already have quite a lot of photo cards for this compared to how many I should have. So I'm making very good progress with this album and I'm really happy about that because it's always more difficult to collect um, to collect photo cards when the album has been out for a longer time because at that point more people already have their collection complete so it's always nice to be fast with collecting albums even though I don't really try to do that but it's nice when that happens <laughs> so I'm really happy about already having these. I also have a couple pre-order benefits for Five Star, even though I don't collect those, but I do usually pre-order their albums. So at that point you just get them basically. Um, so I have these three and I'm just going to be storing them with my uh, Lino pre-order benefit from, um, from Ordinary, I think that was because it, it doesn't quite make sense for me to make like separate pre-order benefit pages because I don't collect pre-order benefit pages. So they are just going to be there. <laughs> I also have this random Hyunjin pre-order benefit that's already in my binder. I have no clue where that came from. Like, I mean, I could probably figure out what store it's from, but I'm fairly sure that I didn't order anything from that store. So I have no clue how I got the pre-order benefit, so that's <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> and for Stray Kids, I also have um, some photo cards from uh, Stay in Ju Jeju, Juju, something like that, to put away. Um, I got these because I ordered uh, when when this merch drop happened. I ordered three of the plushies. I ordered Hyunjin's. Uh, Hans and Felix's because I collect those members. I didn't get like um, Didn't get cards for all of them or well <laughs> Talking is difficult. I didn't get cards for all three members I collect, but I did get three cards It's it's difficult to speak sometimes. So let's not pay attention to that <laughs> I'm just going to be storing them behind these uh, daikon photo cards because there's not going to be anything added to that anyway. And since I don't plan on collecting the other uh, Stay in Jeju cards, it doesn't really make sense to make an entire separate thing for it. So it's just going to be behind daikon and I can always find it when I need it. Uh, other people will probably never be able to find anything with my organization, so that's great. <laughs> Next up is COD7. Now, I don't really actively collect COD7. Like, I do want all their photo cards, but I'm not actively looking for them. So it's a very slow collection. And because of that, I'm going to be only storing a couple photo cards today. But it, it doesn't make sense for me to wait until I get more, because that's going to take a really long time. And I just want to have them in my binder. So <laughs> it's just going to be storing a few. But um, some of the other groups that I'm putting away today have much more, so that makes a bit more sense. It's just that GOT7 cards are always just kind of left behind, I guess, um, when I put things away. Because I want to wait till I have a bunch of cards for a group to put them away. But I feel like I'm never going to get there for GOT7, simply because I don't collect them as actively as I co collect the other groups I collect. So I know it looks a little weird right now, <laughs> but 
we're just going to go with it, okay? <laughs> because I also kind of feel like if them if I keep them outside of my binder for much longer, I'm going to inevitably lose them and hate myself because of that. But it's just, you know, I'm I'm a lot of times I'm not a very organized person, so I will lose things when they are not in their place. And you know, Keeping things out of my binder for a long time is kind of risky because of that. <laughs> so I'm just going to store them, even though it's, it looks a little strange that I'm putting away such few cards for a group. It, it does take me quite a while to put them away, actually, simply because I have to flip through the entire binder for like three cards. But, you know... And that's going to be the exact same thing with EXID. I have like one card to store for them, I think. Uh, but again, if I keep it out of my binder for much longer, it's going to vanish. And I don't want that to happen. I want them to just stay in my binder and be happy and look pretty and not get lost in my own chaos. So today is a bit of a... Um, You know, just like cleaning up a bit of the, um, <laughs> talking is difficult. <laughs> it's not even that I'm struggling in English today, it's just that I'm struggling in general today. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to speak. I didn't get enough sleep to record any of this. That's why this is so chaotic and messy and not how it's supposed to be. But, you know, maybe you enjoy it anyway. That'd be nice. I hope someone enjoys this anyway. Even though I'm, um, I'm not as cohesive as I normally am. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Alright, now where does this last Yu-Gi-Oh card go? Um, oh, here. Yeah, so that's it for GOT7 today. Um, I think next up is the one EXID card. And I think after that I'm going to be storing collections that do have a bit more cards for them today. So, yeah. I do really like this photo card though, so that's, that's great. I still absolutely love this binder cover, like the binder cover for EXID. I just think it's so pretty, even though it's not really like my other binder covers, I do absolutely love it. I I just kind of, yeah. It To me it feels a lot like them, you know? I feel like it matches the artist, even though there's more than one artist in that binder, but that doesn't matter. I, Yeah, I like it. All right, next up is Itzy. I do think I have more cards to store for Itzy than I have for the previous few groups. So that's going to be great. I also think I'm going to need both of my Itzy binders today. Like I have cards to store in both of my binders. Um, so that's going to look a little weird because I currently have Cheshire and Kill My Doubt, even though I don't have cards for Kill My Doubt yet. But I currently have Cheshire and Kill My Doubt in my non-album binder, simply because they don't fit in my normal binder anymore. Uh, but it also feels weird to start an entire new binder for just two eras. So they, they are with my non-album stuff for now. And when they have more comebacks, I'll get a third Itzy binder. But for now, they are in there. And I do think I'm also going to need that binder today. Itzy is my... Um, is Itzy is the collection that I have most cards of. Like you can see that a lot of... For a lot of eras I'm over 50%. So that's really awesome. I do think Itzy is going to be the first one I'll finish at some point. Like it's... It's, <laughs> it's still going to be a while before I finish them, obviously. I think I still need like 200... 200 more photo cards or something like that. But I think when I finish a collection, Itzy will be the first one. Either that or Lightsome. Simply because Lightsome has like... I think it's like four or five photo cards per member. No, that's a lie. It's more than that. It's definitely more than that. 
I think I need 24 photo cards for light sum in total, which means it li it's like um, it's like eight per member. That that was some life math math right there. It took me way too long to figure out what 24 divided by 3 is, but you know, <laughs> I'm a little tired. <laughs> so yeah, it it's definitely possible that I'll finish them before I finish Itzy. But that's simply because they barely have any photo cards. And Itzy does have a lot of photo cards, so it feels much more like an accomplishment to be further along with Itzy than it does with Lightsum because again Lightsum doesn't have many photo cards. So I think for like bigger collections Itzy will be the first one I'll finish. Oh I also have the um the photo cards from the seasons greetings for this year for Itzy to put away. So I'm also going to do that. That's another reason I'm going to need this binder. Um so yeah I just bought the entire thing. So I have the photo cards for all member members, but I do still need to make a uh, front page for this. So <laughs> it's just going to be with the BFF cards for now, but eventually I'll make like a uh, front page for this year's season's greetings as well. And it'll look more co cohesive. So that's still going to be a little bit, but yeah, I do also have those cards now. Even though I don't collect non-album cards, I, I have a surprising amount of non-album cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for Itzy, I basically collect anything I want to collect. Except for pre-order benefits, because those are just crazy. But, um, like, for a lot of groups, I'll actually not collect non-album cards. And... Because I don't collect them, I'll have no album cards. For Itzy, it's like I don't collect album cards, but I do have a lot of al non-album cards. Um, because I really just get whatever I like. <laughs> so that's why uh, that's why that this is such a lot of non-album stuff for Itzy. I do at some point want to collect their Japanese photo cards as well. Uh, like their Japanese album photo cards. But before I do that, I kind of want to finish their Korean album photo cards first. So hopefully that actually happens in that order and I don't get distracted halfway through the plan. And just do something random because uh, sometimes I do that. Alright, so next up is the last binder for today, I think. And that's twice. Or well, twice has two binders, but I mean the last group for today. I think twice is the last for today. I um for twice I have a bunch of random cards for earlier eras and a lot of uh between one and two photo cards because I joined a group order for that and that came in recently so now I have almost all between one and two photo cards I collect so that's great. I'm only missing like six more or something I think. I don't really know the numbers from the top of my head, but it, it's definitely not a lot. So that's that's really awesome. Um, yeah, for earlier eras, I'm still missing a lot. But for twice, there's just a lot of photo cards in general. Because every era, they'll have like... Well, every recent era, I guess I should say, they have like at least six photo cards per member. Like, I know some of their older albums only have, like, three per member, but for the recent albums, it's, I think, I think it's always more than six. Like, I feel like the, the one that has had the least recently was um, Formula of Love. I think Ready to Be didn't have that many different photo cards either. But... Yeah, a lot of times twice albums have a lot of different photo cards per member. And since I collect three members, I uh, <laughs> I need to collect a lot of photo cards for twice. <laughs> <laughs> I did get Bunny Nyon and I'm actually going to collect the entire plushie set for between one and two. Uh, because I really like it and I feel like they are going to be really difficult to collect at some point. And since one day I maybe do want to collect OT9, 
I feel like it would be nice to just have these already, just in case they do become impossible to get later on. Um, and I just really like them. I think they're adorable. It's a little sad I'm still missing Momo, because Momo is a member that I actually do collect normally. Like for the plushie set, I'm currently still missing Momo and Jiho. But for Jiho, it's a little less sad because I don't collect her normally. Um, but yeah, I do kind of miss Peach Momo. Like I'm so close to collecting this set. It, it really makes me kind of sad that I'm missing those two. I'm actually really close to collecting this era, to completing this era in general right now. So that's, that's great. Um, I do also still miss a bunch of pre-order benefits for this. But I, I think I have them on the way already. I don't fully remember. I might have them on the way. I might not. Um, I kind of hope I have them on the way. One thing I do still need to find is the um, Sana photo card with like a tomato or cherry. What 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 is it? What is it she's holding? It's like the uh, the special Sana photo card for this era, basically. That I still need to get. That's kind of difficult to get. So <laughs> that's a little sad. But you know, I'm going to get that eventually and it'll be complete and pretty and awesome. So yeah, let's go. Right, so do I, I just have some more pre-order benefits to store right now and a bunch of cards for members I don't collect because I always have cards for members I don't collect, which is interesting because I don't collect them. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I actually had two almost complete pre-order benefit sets for uh, between one and two. Like, they just had Dayan missing, so I'm kind of hoping I'm also going to find the other Dayan one I'm still missing today, uh, like later on. Uh, because I do feel like they look prettier as an entire, entire set. And I do at one point want to collect all nine, like, all... OT9 pre-order benefit sets, uh, but for now I'm focusing on just the members I collect. But I do think it looks much prettier when they are complete, so I'm hoping I'm also going to find the last of those to have it complete, because it's awesome. So yeah, those were all of the non- uh, or no, not non-album cards, all the cards for members I don't collect. And as you can see, I already have quite a few, <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, and I think that's already it for this video, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!